Hi, I'm Luke Gomez. I'm Joe Meekum. And welcome to a very special edition of Gojo Talk. We're here with the Plain White Tees. Uh, you guys mind uh, introducing yourselves? Uh, I'm Tom. I'm Tim. How you doing? Nice. And normally you listen to us ramble about politics, but today we're going to ask these guys a couple questions. First of all, I'm sure you're asked this all the time, but how did you guys get the name Plain White Tees? Right here. So I wear them all the time. No, you know, we've always been influenced by like 50s and 60s music. And you think about like, you know, James Dean, Marlon Brando, like with the cigarette pack rolled up in their sleeve with like a leather jacket, uh, just kind of a cool iconic symbol. And, you know, it's always stayed in style through the years. Everybody has them. Everybody wears them. It's comfortable, but it's still cool. So we just thought that, you know, that symbol fit our name, fit our band. Sounds good. And uh, how'd you guys uh, get your start? Was it in your hometown or how did that, how did that work? Yeah, we're from uh, Chicago, and me and Dave, our other guitar player, uh, we went to high school together, and we just started up the band. I started writing songs, and, you know, we're jamming in my basement with some other friends, and started the band, played local shows, and, uh, you know, just started building up a fan base around Chicago, and then we started touring and getting, uh, we got on an independent record label, and then, uh, you know, just touring, sold, sold enough albums to get up to a major label, and, um, you know, that's kind of when we started getting on the radio and things like that. And everything just kept getting better and better every year and, you know, bigger and bigger for the band. Nice. Yeah. So uh, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the three-part harmony tour. It uh, it's a, has a certain kind of uh, interesting aspect to it. Sure. Want to go? No. You don't want to tell this one? No, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing all the talking. Um, yeah, the three. Well, we want to do something different for this tour. You know, like I said, we've been touring for years now, so we wanted to really come out with something new and something fresh. And we, um, you know, most of the tour is small clubs, so we didn't have like a huge production budget for a light show or pyro or anything crazy. So we thought about it, you know, from a musical standpoint, what we could do musically to really make it more of a special, unique kind of a show, more of an event. So we came up with the idea to do the show in three different parts. So three-part harmony tour, you know, it's like we, we come out rocking at the beginning, play a bunch of more of the, the up-tempo songs, and then we break it down and do an acoustic set in the middle of the show, kind of go downstage, kind of close to the audience, interact a little bit. And then for the third part, we kind of do this medley, six or seven songs kind of combined, musically transition from song to song, and we basically start and then don't stop playing for like 20, 25 minutes. So, yeah. That's interesting. So, uh, do you have any? <laughs> no, it is. I'm good. I'm very creative. Though. We try. So, you guys have had a. It's been a busy tour so far. You were in Albuquerque yesterday. Yeah. I think right. And then are you going to San Francisco tomorrow? If I yeah. heard the website right. Yeah. Okay. We got a quick question. Um, crazy tour story so far. Any anything like something psycho? I think know? Tim's got oh. a story from last night. I'm, I'm bummed that I wasn't there. But what? What'd you do last night? Uh, I, I mean, I judged a booty shaking contest. How, how'd, that, how'd that go? Uh, I liked it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was, uh, it was interesting. Me and Damar were at this place that our, our friend, it's a um, place that he's buying, a bar called The Library in Albuquerque, and I guess they host booty shaking contests every week. So we were honorary judges. And I wasn't there. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah. This is so much. I know, right? <laughs> On that note, kind of a silly question. Uh, clubs or university, which has the best groupies? Wow. Best groupies. Uh, both. Oh, I, I think we would probably prefer universities since um, well, they'd be yeah, the age. True. Most of the club shows, a lot of the kids are younger, or the fans, you know, are kids, I should say. So, yeah, the college, at least you know they're all, you know, at least what? Are you going to say legal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's always good. Do you guys have any favorite tour stops so far? Any place you really like the best? Albuquerque. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. Um, I, I actually do really like Albuquerque. I love playing that city. But, you know, we, we had to cancel our New York show because I got sick about a week ago. And figures right on the day of New York, I couldn't talk at all. Um, but that's always a fun place to play. L.A. was a great stop on this tour. We got to have a few days off in Portland, Oregon, which was fun. So there's been a lot of great, great little, little stops along the way. We actually saw the Grand Canyon today. 
this morning. We uh, what did you think about that? <laughs> that was pretty amazing. Pretty big ditch, man. Yeah, Tim slept through it. <laughs> you know, I did get up. I uh, did you I, go out there? Yeah, I went and checked no it way. out. No way. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that was amazing. You know, all our years of touring, um, we never never have seen that. So it was nice to finally get to get the chance to check it out. Yeah. So you want to make one or two more questions? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm curious about the this uh, the new CD, Big Bad World. Uh, obviously known for your big hit, Hey There, Delilah. Uh, and I won't ask about who Delilah is. I'm sure <laughs> you get that a lot. <laughs> Does that actually make My you dog. sick? <laughs> no, just <kidding. laughs> Do you ever get like sick? I'm just like, who's Delilah? <laughs> no, it's funny, you know, but I just have told the story so many times. Mm. I'm surprised that people still don't know or, you know. Um, but yeah, it's yeah. okay. But um, for your new album, was there any sort of like real pressure to sort of like really keep that keep sort of, that of, main of that mainstream appeal and, you know, stay on that way? I don't think we felt too much pressure, um, you know, as individuals or whatever when it came to writing the next record. But um, I think that was largely due to the fact that we had a lot of material written already by the time it was um, by the time we were going into the studio to record Big Bad World, I think there was already how many, you think, like 20 songs at, at least. least? Yeah. So, I mean... Yeah, we're always writing. If so you're, it's hard to feel the pressure when you're just always busy and you're in it, you know? Yeah, I think people really feel that if they get into the studio, it's time to record and they, and they haven't started writing and then you're like, well, geez, like, you know, I got to come up with something on the spot. For us, we just, you know, anytime there's inspiration, then a song gets written and... By the time we got into the studio, Tom already had a few songs that all of us were so stoked about that it was kind of like, oh, we're we're, we're safe. in good shape. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what's next for the Plain White Tees after this? I think we're going to tour a little bit more in America. Uh, we're, we keep trying to get over to Europe because we actually had a big, uh, you know, big fan base over there. So we're trying to get over there and play for them. And um, I don't know, just touring the rest of the year. There's a few Jason Mraz dates that we're going to do which is really cool, and uh, probably record a new record sometime next year. Sweet deal, sweet deal. Right. On an unrelated note, uh, Barack Obama last yesterday released the uh, torture memos uh, about Guantanamo Bay. What are your opinions on that? Wow, we are pretty out of the loop when it comes to that sort of stuff. Is but that the one where he had his shirt off, or is that something different? I'm not quite You've sure, but... <laughs> What are you talking but, about what happened in Guantanamo? Like, what are your opinions are on that? Harold and Kumar, I love that movie. <laughs> it's a good way to be there. Probably yeah, the best the, answer I've ever heard so far. That is the best answer I've ever heard of that <laughs> Well, question. thank you guys for being here. Thanks so much. Yeah. Again, real, it's been an honor. Uh, okay, this Tom, is Tim. Nice to meet you. Uh, well, that has been the Plain White Seas for you. They're playing tonight, but since this show is being shown later, oh, you you missed out. Or if you if you saw it, you know, wasn't it awesome? Remember that? Remember that one moment at like halfway through when Tom did that thing? Yeah, that was awesome. That was, that was pretty rad. All right, I am Luke Gomez. I'm Joe Meekum. This has been Gojo Talk. Thank you.